Um, I'll start off, shoot, exciting week, obviously, division opponent uh, playing the Titans um, down there in Nashville. Uh, I know it'll be electric down there. I know you guys are fired up. I uh, had good team meeting this morning, good offensive defensive meetings, uh, preparing like crazy for these guys. It's a talented group, uh, especially on both sides of the football. Uh, you look at their offense with Hopkins, been doing it for a long time. Uh, getting Ridley, you know, from Jacksonville, really good player. Uh, Pollard, good player. Boyd, good player. Quarterback, when he's got time back there, you know, he can make all the throws. So it's going to be a hell of a challenge. And then defensively, you look at what they got on defense. I think, shoot, they're, they're tops in a lot of categories defensively right now. I uh, got a lot of respect for Denard. He was with Denard uh, in Philly for a couple of years. Um, they're playing good football on defense. You know, Simmons, you know, he sets the tone up front for those guys. And, and Key and Landry on the outside are good rushers. Uh, you know, Murray, linebacker inside, was with them at the Chargers. Uh, hell of a football player. Diggs, a veteran presence back there at the safety position. Ten-year vet, been doing it for a long time. Uh, and then Sneak, getting him from Kansas City. Uh, he's a hell of a football player, too. So we got to prepare like crazy, get ready to roll. But I know our guys are excited for the challenge, for sure. Will AR and JT practice today? Um, JT will not. AR will be out there. Is he four? Where's he at now? Uh, he's going to be out there practicing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just, I mean, with, with JT, is that maybe more serious than initially thought at all? Or? No, he's working through it. I mean, he's, 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 he's looking good. So we'll see how the week goes with him. Okay. You know, hopeful that he'll be out there. We'll see. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is Ryan Kelly going to practice today? He will be out there, yes. Was there any, was Anthony close to being your third quarterback at all Sunday, or was he not healthy enough for that? Either? Yeah, I didn't want to chance that with that. This, I know you, you know you're on Tennessee at this point, but just when you, when you look back at the defensive performance, just what was your what were your guys' focus coming out of that game in terms of like I, what you can fix? Yeah, I think we talked about it a little bit earlier on Monday is the explosive plays, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, they had some explosive plays there. Um, there are about four of them, you know, that you want back, and you can't take them back. So we got to get them corrected. Um, affecting the quarterbacks a big part of it, uh, and keeping the points down and playing together. And again, it. A lot of it too, it's, it's fundamentals and technique, and it's not just the defense, it's all three phases. We gotta play with fundamentals, technique, we gotta be relentless in everything we do, and that's one of the pillars I believe in. We gotta be relentless on how we meet and how we practice and how we walk through, and we gotta have the mindset when we go out to practice like it's game day. You know what I mean? We, we have that mindset every day, and you go into the games, you get in these fourth quarters, right? You gotta have the mindset that you're gonna go finish. And that's that's the emphasis this week. Is that specifically that the, the tackle? That sounds like tackling to a degree. Yeah, we got to tackle too. Yeah, yeah. we got to tackle. We got to get that cleaned up as well. Shane, being a head coach, you know what it's like to be in those shoes, and so you know what it's like to play a team that has a quarterback deal like you've got right now. Is that kind of how much of an impact does it make in your prep if the exact same thing is happening to say they got a running quarterback, they got a passing quarterback, and you have no idea what's going to happen? How, how what's that do to you? Yeah, you got you got to prepare for both. I mean, that's part of the process, right? As a coach, uh, you you know, you know there's unknowns, and uh, you got to prepare. Uh, whether it's the other guy or this guy, you got to have a plan for both, and that, that's the process you go through. And those are the meetings you have with the staff, uh, talking about if this happens or that happens, how we're going to respond to it, what's our plan, uh, and then we got to take action. Uh, you know, when it does happen. Shane, given the defensive struggles, do you spend more time with that group this week? Yeah, I have conversations with Gus and the staff like every week. I meet with those guys every week. Or this week? Yeah, we talk a lot. Shane, I know you, you mentioned a little bit, but some of these losses here, what, what is like the sense of urgency with this team right now to, to play you know, a full game? Yeah, there's urgency every week. There really is. I think, uh, you know, we talked about as the season gets going, you know, you got to start kind of hitting your stride really October, going into November and December, you know, so you can get hot there. And uh, again, I, I got so much confidence in the guys in that locker room uh, going forward. And the division games are a little bigger, right? It's just what it is. It's the NFL. You know, you want to win championships, you got to win division games. And uh, going on the road, having another division opponent, the urgency's there. You know, you can feel from the guys. Like I said, the meetings were great this morning. Uh, looking forward to the walkthrough, looking forward to practice and going attacking this week. Is this a matchup this defensive front can take advantage of? Yeah, I mean, shoot, we look at all that stuff, but we have some matchups that we think we can win. Obviously, we got to put them in those situations to win those matchups, and it starts with us as coaches getting that done. What do you think of Jerry Sneed? Obviously, you're familiar with him, but he adds to that team and it's kind of very <clears throat> He's an aggressive corner. I mean, he'll get up and press. He's physical, you know, at the point of attack. Um, he stays in, in receiver's hips, so we got to do a great job of getting off press coverage um, and winning our one-on-ones this week for sure. Spencer, 
been just two games back for Josh Downs, but what have you seen out of just the way that he's fit into this offense? Um, I mean, he's the ultimate pro. I mean, he does everything right. He does the treatment he gets, the way he works, um, what he brings to that receiver room is great. I mean, you can see what he's done in his first year and a half, um, how productive he's been. Um, he's going to have a big time career because of the way he worked, his work ethic, the way he runs routes, the way he attacks every day. I mean, he's a huge asset to our football team. Shane, with, with players that hate to be pigeonholed, but with Alec Pierce, he's a deep guy. What goes into allowing a guy to be that? Well, I think he's got great speed. He's got great speed. Where it starts. Yeah, great speed. He's got great range. I mean, if you look around the league at you know some of these guys that are catching these deep balls, a lot of them are speed guys. Um, so. But it does, and it allows you to take the top off. But again, too, with even with this speed, there is that intermediate threat, too, of like, shoot, am I always running deep? Oh, shoot, back up. Here comes 14, and the next thing you know, you know, he does something else. So um, it definitely helps with the and speed. The high point, he contested catches, and the, the one in the sidelines. Yeah, it was nice. impressive as it gets. I mean, it was a hell of a catch, obviously, just with the tip and coming down and, and having that ball. And, and again, I, it's been, you know, he's going into year three and he's made that jump, you know, which is awesome to see uh, for young players making that jump in year three, uh, just making all the catches, making all the big plays. And the biggest thing with him, he's been consistent doing it, and that's what we need. Because there's, what was said, the deep ball is becoming like a, a hallmark of your offense here. I mean, are, are you seeing that translate into to, to the coverages you're seeing? Yeah, yeah, I would say yes and no. I think it depends on the D coordinator a little bit too. Mm -hmm. You know, what's his mindset? What's his philosophy going into the game? Um, I think uh, credit to a lot of the defenses, you know, in this league, um, sometimes, you know, adapting and certain looks and disguising certain things, whether they're playing shell and dropping down or playing man and mixing things up, um, you know, it's part of it, you know, and, and, and sometimes, you know, I feel like back in the day day it was like oh shoot we're getting this and this here we go and now it's just like hey we're going to roll the deck some things and, and make them think a little bit so you got to run your base stuff um you know but also, obviously when you see something on tape you got to try and attack it for sure the difference in like defenses aside it feels like the story this season has been that most nfl teams aren't throwing deep as much you guys are is, is that just going to show that you can find you can still find ways to get deep yeah, I think there's a time and a place for it. I mean, especially it's 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 one of those things, right? You can have the shot called, but if you don't get the right coverage for it, you're gonna have to check it down and move on in completions, you know, and get the completions that you need. But you're, I think everyone in the league is hunting the deep ball. They really are. Like, how do we find these explosives week in and week out? And if they give them to us, let's take them. But if not, we're gonna have to check it down. So some games you might go into it with these shot plays up, and it's like, well, where were the explosives this week? Well, they didn't give them to us. You know, that's 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 part of it. Are you getting those explosives is having good protection up front to have Orlini and Tucker be able to come in and still be able to hit some of those explosives? What does that say about just their level of play? Yeah, it's been great. It, it, we talk about it in the team meetings all the time. It always starts like we want to hit these explosive plays. It always starts with protection. We got to make sure we have a clean pocket to make sure we can get these things off. And the offensive line's been doing a hell of a job up front getting that done. Shane, yeah. how encouraged have you been with your offense, knowing the numbers they put up last week without? AR without JT? Encouraged, very encouraged, but it's just like one of those things. Like our motto this, this year is like determination never rests. Like we can't rest in anything we do. We got to keep going and keep going and keep improving. Like whether you win or lose, right, there's always stuff to clean up, right? It's constructive criticism, it's accountability, and uh, that's what we're all about. Like how do we be our very best every single day going into Sunday? And uh, whether we win, shoot, it can't just be like, all right, yeah, good job. All right, now on to the next one. It's like, all right, no, good job. Here's the stuff we did really well, but here's the stuff we need to clean up. So it's a, it's a constant, you know, determination of getting better. Might be a silly question, but just to get it, like, I guess, out there. Is Will Fry's out for the season? Yeah, there's a good chance of that, yeah. And then is Dalton Tucker your starting right guard? Uh, I, like Dalton's done a good job for us, but I won't get into that. Who's starting? Shane, I know it was just briefly, but you know, Anthony was last out there. He played very well. Yeah. Did you see tangible strides from what he had done in September where he had struggled? Absolutely. I mean, that Pittsburgh game, he started off on fire, you know, and obviously they got dinged up. So it's like, it's tough because you're like, man, who knows what would have happened that game, you know? So, um, you know, he's been attacking it. And uh, like I said, shoot, we'll see how the week goes. But if he's ready to go and he feels good and the doctors feel good about it, he'll be out there. Shane, why, why, is more. That, why, why was he so effective in those, those two drives there? I, I, you know, I, he was just, I don't know, he went out and played good. You know what I mean? We, we, we were executing, and, and, and uh, the offensive line was blocking well. He was making good throws. You start off with the chunk play right there, hit a big one to pit, and then we started rolling. 
Um, and then he had the, you know, the QB run that popped for, you know, 25, and that's just how it went. What did you think of Joe Flacco's 21 yard run? Yeah, he showed some wheels on that. <laughs> it was good. It was good to see that he could still do it. Is he going to put more zone read in it just in case he's back in the. Yeah, I think we might hold off. It's on tape. You never know. You never know. It's on tape. You know, they never know. Joe has played the last one. Have you seen him and Anthony's relationship develop? Yeah, I think it's great to have, like we said before, you know, to have that veteran presence in that room and those guys building that relationship on a daily basis in that QB meeting room. There's a lot of conversations that go on. Uh, Joe's got great wisdom, um, so it's been good to see. All right.